If you guys want to learn really quickly how to record gameplay using Nvidia Shadow Play with no lag at the highest quality, then this is a video for you. Let's get right into it. What is going on, everybody? Is once again Oda here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Shadow Play to record your gameplay or desktop at the best quality with no lag whatsoever. Now, of course, what you need for this is GeForce Experience, which, by the way, if you don't have it, it's pretty easy to download. Just go online and then look up GeForce Experience. And then it'll be the first thing that pops up and then you could just go ahead and click download now and then you'll have it on your computer so once you have geforce experience installed all you're gonna do is go over here to the bottom left search up geforce experience and it'll come up right here as this app just go ahead and click that now there are requirements that your system has to meet in order to use shadow play and to check if you meet those requirements just click up here on the settings cog and then right here where it says in-game overlay if it says ready then you can use shadow play now this box right here that says in-game overlay make sure it's switched on now to open up shadow play it's pretty simple just press alt and z on your keyboard now right here where it says screenshot photo mode and game filter i don't use any of these but if you do want to use it you can just click screenshot and then as you can see it says screenshot has been saved now right here is what you're going to be using the most most likely instant replay and record now if you don't know what instant replay is it's pretty cool now what instant replay does is let's say you're playing a video game and then you get a five kill chain or something like that you can press the hotkey on your keyboard and then it'll only save the previous five minutes that just happened from when you press the hotkey and then you'll have a five minute video on your computer that just shows your highlight compared to having the recording on the whole time where you have to fish through like a two hour recording or however long it took for you to get that highlight. So if you are going to use instant replay, click this and then click turn on. If you are going to use instant replay, adjust this instant replay length. This is how long the video is going to be when you press the hotkey. So if you want a three minute video, then of course you set it to three minutes. And for bitrate, you're always going to use 30 megabits per second. And for resolution, just choose in game. And for frame rate, you can choose between 30 FPS and 60 FPS. But of course, I recommend 60. Now let's go over here to settings. Now I'm not going to go over every single section, but I'm just going to be showing you guys what you need to get started on recording. And then I recommend changing all of these to off, except for status indicator. I recommend placing that anywhere on any corner of your screen just so you know when you're recording. I have it on the bottom left. And for keyboard shortcuts, of course, you could adjust these to whatever you want. But the only one I have is pressing Alt Z because I don't want to accidentally start recording. So I just have it set to where I open GeForce Experience with this. Now for recordings right here, this is where your videos are going to be saved once you're done recording. So you could just click these three dots and then find the file that you want the video to be placed in. I recommend doing what I did and placing them on a separate drive if you have one, but if not, just putting them wherever you want will work just fine. Now, if you do want to live stream with Shadow Play, which I'm not really familiar with because I always use OBS, then you could click here on broadcast live and adjust these to whatever you'd like. But these are pretty self-explanatory since I already explained the video settings for recording. So it's pretty much the same principle. If you're like me and you're not going to use broadcast live, then I recommend switching this off like I did here. That way you're not going to have that enabled for no reason. Now for highlights right here, this is what I was talking about for instant replay. Just go ahead and click that. And then if you're not using this like me, again switch this off so that your computer is not using unnecessary resources switching this on does cause a bit of lag which is why i like to have it switched off and down here for photo mode slash game filter same thing as before if you're not using this switch it off right here in audio as you can see there's not a lot you can change it's basically just your volume and this audio track option right here so you can adjust that to however you'd like now for source right here you're going to want to click this and change to the microphone that you want to use since the AT2020 is the only mic I have plugged in, it's grayed out, so I can't change it. And this volume line right here is, of course, for your microphone. This is what Windows uses, so whatever this is set to is going to be what it's set to for every single program you're going to be using, so just keep that in mind. And if you can change boost, I've never really seen this not grayed out, but if you can change it, don't change it. Leave it at zero. Um, I've heard that it, all it does is cause problems and just make your audio sound terrible, so just leave that all the way down and right here you're gonna want to make sure separate both 
and right here under audio tracks be sure to use separate both tracks now what this does is let's say you put your video into an editing software you'll have two tracks one is for system sounds and one is for your microphone i find that it's useful if you want to adjust the system sounds in your editing software now just letting you guys know that if you do select separate both tracks if you go to the file location of your saved videos and watch the video back you're not going to hear your microphone volume that is completely normal you're not supposed to hear both tracks while you're playing it back but if you do put it into your editing software you'll see that both of your tracks are there and nothing's missing so i'm just letting you guys know since i ran into that issue while i was using shadow play and i thought all my sound was gone but it turned out that it wasn't so that is it for the audio tab now right here video capture this is what we adjusted before so if you already did it like i showed you earlier in the video you won't have to adjust it notifications of course you could adjust that to whatever you'd like and privacy control make sure this is switched on you always want to have this switched on so that you can capture your desktop now i have heard that if you're recording gameplay this does cause issues because i guess it places the last frame of the video at random spots of the video like it'll flash so if you are having that issue while recording gameplay you could go back here and just switch it off and see if it works but if you're not having that problem definitely have it on as this is what you're going to use if you want to record your desktop as well and that's it for the settings so go ahead and click done and right here, just want to go over this real quick, click on the microphone and make sure you have it to always on, or you could have it on push to talk, but I don't really recommend that if you're recording. I don't know why someone would use that. And this box with the camera icon on it, this is for your webcam. So if you do have a webcam plugged in and you want to record it with shadow play, you could have that switched on, but I just use the Logitech webcam software to record my webcam. So I'm not really going to need that right here in gallery. This is where your videos are saved. So if you want to see what's in your video file location, you could click here and then you'll see that pops up. But there's one more setting I want to show you guys that you have to change or else it'll cause issues with shadow play while recording. So just go ahead and click this X at the top right to close shadow play. And now we're going to go to the bottom right of our taskbar and right click on our speaker icon and then click sounds then up here click on the recording tab and then double click on the microphone you're using you'll know it's the microphone you're using because if you talk you'll see the green bars pop up so just double click on it and then up here click on advanced and then you're going to make sure that your default format right here is to the highest setting and it's also really important that you have these two boxes unchecked because if you have them checked it'll mess with your volume mid recording which of course we don't want so once you've done that click apply and then okay and there's one more setting you have to change and it's going to be over here in the playback tab so double click on the speakers that you're using to hear audio so it's it'll most likely be pretty obvious it'll say default device and they all have a green check but just double click on it and then go over here to advanced once again it'll be the exact same thing make sure that your default format is at the highest level and that these two boxes are unchecked if you don't have these boxes unchecked it'll mess with your audio and shadow play so that's really important and once you've done that again click apply and then okay and this time you could close this box as well so just click okay and that's pretty much it for shadow play recording you are now set you could just press alt z and then choose instant replay or record so if this video did help you out you all know what to do be sure to leave a like and subscribe turn on post notifications do all that good stuff if you guys want to learn the best settings for recording with obs then be sure to check out my video linked in the description or it'll be at the top right of your screen and at the outro if you guys have any issues or any questions just leave a comment down below i will respond to you very quickly and yeah thank you all so much for watching i will see you all in my next video peace out everybody